prime factorization of a five digit number fast. The quickest way to do the prime factorization of a large number is to use short division. To do short division, you need to know your multiplication tables. And for prime factorization, you need to know which prime divisors to choose. And that means knowing the rules of divisibility for the smaller primes. I'm going to do the prime factorization of 76,230 to show how fast this method is. Remember, we can only use prime numbers as divisors, and we keep on dividing until we get to the answer of 1. Our number is even, so I'm going to divide by 2. 2's into 7, 3 2's are 6, remainder 1. 2's into 16, 8 2's are 16. 2's into 2, 1. 2's into 3, 1, remainder 1. 2's into 10, 5 2's are 10. Our answer ends in 5, which means it is divisible by 5. So, 5's into 38. 7 5's are 35, remainder 3. 5's into 31. 6 5's are 30, remainder 1. 5's into 11. 2 5's are 10, remainder 1. 5's into 15. 3 5's are 15. This answer ends in 3, so we can't divide by 2 or 5. The divisibility rule for 3 tells us add the digits of a number. If the total is in the 3 times table, then 3 is a factor. Let's try it. 7 and 3 is 10, plus 6 is 16, plus 2 is 18, which is in the 3 times table, so 3 is a factor. 3 is into 7, 2 3 is 6, remainder 1. 3 is into 16, 5 3 is 15, remainder 1. 3 is into 12, 4 3 is 12. 3 is into 3, 1. Is 3 a factor again? Well, 5 and 4 is 9, plus 1 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Yes, we can use 3. 3 is into 25, 8 3 is 24, remainder 1. 3 is into 14, 4 3 is 12, remainder 2. 3 is into 21, 7 3 is 21. 8 4 7. Is 3 a factor here? Well, 8 and 4 is 12, plus 7, that's 19, so 3 is not a factor this time. What about 7? The divisibility rule for 7 says we double the last digit, then subtract that from the value remaining. If the answer is divisible by 7, then 7 is a factor. So let's check. Double 7 is 14. 84 minus 14 is 70. Yes, 7 is a factor. And with this number, we could check just using our 7 times table knowledge. Look at this. We split the number down. We know that 12 7s are 84 and 177, so we can see even without using the divisibility rule that it would work. So using short division, 7s into 8, 1, remainder 1, 7s into 14, 2 7s are 14, 7s into 7, 1. 121, I know this is in the 11 times table. 11 11s are 121, and 11 is a prime number. So 11 divided by 11 is 1, and we're done. Gather all the prime factors in ascending order. 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 11 times 11. And use exponential notation for the repeated factors. So 2 times 3 to the power 2 because 3 is used twice. Times 5 times 7 times 11 to the power 2 because 11 is used twice. And we're done. That's it. That's all there is to it. So you can see, no matter the size of the number, if you know your tables and the rules of divisibility for the smaller primes, then you've got prime factorization down fast with short division. If you found this helpful, please click the thumbs up for me. Thanks.